Fairy Vibrant Makeup Channel, and I'm actually coming to you with a haul. I have not bought makeup for 40 days, as, as you know, I am Catholic, and I gave up buying anything for myself. Not that I buy excessively, I really don't. I know I always buy things on sale, it's just I felt like I needed to take a step back and just kind of not worry about myself so much. You know, well, not so much, but like, you know what I mean. It, it's just, just to take a break of worrying about what's new, what's the latest trend. I just wanted to take a step away from that for a little bit. So, but I did do videos during that time, just uh, stuff that I've already planned out and stuff. But I'm back and I have a haul. Now, I saved up a good amount of money so that I can, you know, do this haul and um, get stuff that I need and uh, just, you know, yeah, just stuff that I need, really need. Like I was low on foundation, so I repurchased the Infallible uh, Pro Matte Wear uh, and the pow uh, powder, the foundation and the powder, um, and I don't have it with me right now, but I bought that to replenish my foundation and my powders. So now I'm gonna do a, put my bags down. I went to Target to get my, and I'm just dropping everything. Um, I went to Target to get my infallible makeup because it, I mean, Walmart's cheaper too, but I feel like I, I, it's not as expensive over there for me, but I wanted to go get some, oh my gosh, and then I just remembered I got, I went back to, for a second trip and I found some really cool things, so I'll, I'll talk about that too. So, okay, so here's my Target bag. These are two separate trips, and I got stuff that I needed, like my uh, L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte 16 Hour Wear Powder. My color is um, Nude Beige. Usually when I open these, this little part comes off, so then I could not remember what my color was. Luckily I had a spare one so that I can reference that, because this actually lasts a lot longer, because I used to use the Wet n Wild... Um, the Wet n Wild uh, Natural Blend Powder, and I would go through that in a week. I'm that oily, I have to keep oiling up, or patting down my face. But I'm figuring I'm going to probably go get some uh, oil blotters. Sometimes those will work for me, but I saw some at Sephora, and I think I'm going to go back maybe later on, maybe when I show, because my parents are visiting in a couple weeks, so maybe when I show my mom around, if I really, really do feel like I need them, I'll probably get them because they have all sorts of different kinds. They got a cooling one, they got a tea tree one, which I could use, and even a charcoal one, which I definitely can use. So I'm probably gonna go back. I think they're about eight to ten dollars. So I'm gonna go back and maybe get those when I'm shopping with my mom. Um, but yeah, seriously need this. And then I got my uh, foundation. This is golden beige. That color to me seems super dark, but it's not. It's just the right shade. It does have a lot of more yellow than what I'm used to, but I had more of a pink undertone to my old foundation because I really was a foundation, not a foundation newbie, but I had a specific regimen because my skin's so oily and I do not take well to any kind of foundation. No foundation at all. Um, I can't just say, oh, I'm gonna try this, I'm gonna try this. It has to really work with my skin, it has to feel not feel like foundation, it has to be light, it has to cover everything that I want it to cover, and um, I mean, you all see my videos, I have a lot of acne scars, and a lot of, you know, breakouts here, so, I mean, I don't, and I'm not ashamed of that, I mean, everyone has dull skin, somehow, I know I've seen some beauty gurus, they have beautiful skin, like Kathleen Lights, she's got gorgeous skin, she has a little bit of redness, but to me, she's just got the most beautiful skin ever. But she has dry skin. Us oily girls don't have, I mean, there's a lot of oily girls that don't break out. I don't know, there, I don't know if there is. If you're an oily girl and you don't break out, I'd love to know why. <laughs> because I break out all the time because my oil is a constant, I have to balance it out all the time. And I swear I cannot get my skin balanced. But anyways, this is the perfect foundation. I went from a regimen that was a, um, I guess this is becoming a foundation regimen thing. Um, no, but I went 
I used to use Avon Smooth Minerals, and then what I would do is get my hard candy primer, the white one, the regular one, and I would mix it into a mousse foundation, and then I would apply it, then I would conceal with my CoverGirl um, Smoother's Concealer, because that one brought moisture to my face, but I think after time, my skin just got, and ever since I've moved here, my skin has gotten more oily. There's a lot more moisture in the air than it was in New Mexico, so my skin just and then my breakouts just broke. I don't know what happened, but anyways, so I switched over to NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat along with their HD concealers and their setting powder, but I, I don't know if I got a bad one, but after a while the smell started to get to me. It smelled like plastic or something, the setting powder, the, I think it's the HD setting powder, and it, I mean, it would last all day, so I liked it and it didn't feel very heavy and it looked kind of natural so I was like oh, I'm never gonna find my foundation I had the Ulta lady uh, try the Lancome one for oily skin it felt too slippery for me and I felt like it was just not for me and I didn't want to spend $45 on a new foundation I like drugstore foundations and then they said well the Tarte uh, the Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation helps, but I found it it would settle in my uh, pores too much. Uh, just from swatching on my hand, it just settled into my little lines on my hand. So I'm like, it's probably going to settle into my pores because I have large pores. This one does not do that. This one actually does a great job at keeping me covered. I've been wearing this all day long. My lipstick's a little worn off, but I've been wearing this all day long, and I can say I'm a little oily in, like on my nose. Uh, I get oily on my chin, so I just blot, and that's it. And it lasts. It really does last. So I got another one of these. And I decided to get my the L'Oreal Infallible uh, Pro Setting Spray because I hear that in pairing it with those, it'll work better. And it, it actually did a lot better today because I sprayed it on today, and it did make the makeup last a lot, little, a lot longer. And I've been actually wearing this for a total of... 10 hours so not bad all right so then I got my uh, Target brand the up and up um, cosmetic wedges I use these for my nail art when I want to do an ombre and I use it for um, if I want to pat my concealer in because these ones work for me a beauty blender doesn't seem to work for me as well as I like it to um, but these these work very well and I have an issue with my puffy eyes now that I've been waking up early and just more tired because I have housework, I have all sorts of stuff going on just physically. I have to go, you know, I'm running errands all the time, you know, I'm going to stay at home. My camera stopped. It does that. It's like, okay, we're going to stop filming you. Ugh, stupid camera. Anyways, I get a lot of puffiness in my eyes running around with my three-year-old, now three-year-old, and um... I clean a lot, I do laundry constantly, I'm running around doing groceries, errands, paying bills, all sorts of stuff. And when I used to work in an office, I never really, I, I mean it was an office job, so I sat all day. Um, I would occasionally take a walk around campus because I worked at a university and I would just, you know, get my blood flowing and then go back to sitting down and doing my paperwork at my computer and stuff like that and I just, yeah, sitting all day. I didn't do a whole lot physically, but now that I'm running around, I do a lot of physical work, but I'm, I just get a little tired, and I've noticed my eyes have been getting puffy, so I wasn't about to dish out a whole lot of money for puff reducer, because I'm like, well, I, I mean, I love skincare, but I'm not huge on skincare, because I have specific skincare items that I use, um, so I thought I'd pick up the e.l.f. Cosmetics um, Eye Refresh, I haven't tried it yet, it's still in the box, um, but it says the cooling sensation of the rollerball brightens and refreshes the eye area to help alleviate under eye puffiness and dark circles. So we'll give that a go, see how it goes. If it doesn't work, then I might have to research a lot more and see what's best for just a little bit of puff under the eye. And then along with Elf, uh, that Elf item, I got three makeup brushes from the Elf Studio line. And I got the small stipple brush because I wanted another found, uh, foundation brush to use so that I can, um, or even a blush, this can be used for blush too, um, 
because I wanted to order those ColourPop blushes and I hear these kind work really well. Um, but I wanted to try this for foundation, just to get in the small areas. This one is a um, concealer brush. This would be nice to blend my concealer under the eyes. Also use it, my powder, my under eye powder uh, to set under the eye. And then as well as this for highlight. This is a uh, pointed foundation brush, but I wanted to use it for highlight and on my nose and on my cheekbones and possibly powdering under the eyes. I don't know. I just wanted to get these. All right, well with that, I found these. I didn't know, I mean, some Targets carry it and then some do not. But this specific Target was a regular Target, not a super Target, and they carried LA Colors. Now, when I used to live in Las Cruces, I used to go to the dollar store and get LA Colors back when I was at college, because it was right across the street from my college. So I would go there during my breaks and get their makeup then. And they came out with more makeup and I was like, oh, okay. And then when I scanned the price, I was like, holy moly, I'm gonna try it. So I got this little three uh, trio palette and it's only 99 cents. This is called Peony. Um, it's got blue, um, kind of like a rose color. It looks, it's supposed to be red, but it's not that red and a yellow color. And I'm not sure how well they work. Um, let's go ahead and open this. I can't open it. I wish I had scissors nearby. I didn't think about that. I can't open it. I'm terrible at this, so I want to open it. So yeah, I mean, I didn't see those before. Um, I don't know if they're going to start carrying them. I know the super targets don't carry them. I can't open it. I don't want to bust a nail. I have press on nails on. <laughs> um, anyways, let's. I'm going to show. I'm going to swatch them. I had to grab scissors, so I took a little break. I opened it. So yeah, the only thing is, is it comes with this little cheeky applicator, but you know, whatever. So this is the colors. They look really nice. I like them. Um, let's try, my hands are clean, so I'm gonna try the blue. They're not as pigmented as I thought, but it's, it, I mean, the application is pretty nice. This rosy color can double as a blush. The yellow's not pigmented really. It's kind of, they're kind of, uh, well, I mean, it would look nice. I mean, there's the colors on my finger and there's the swatch right there. I don't know if you can see the yellow, but the yellow is a bit chalky. The blue in the red or rose color is more smooth and creamy. It does not, I mean, for 99 cents for the palette, it's, I mean, it's pretty good, but the yellow is not, that's the one I bought it for. I bought it for the yellow and it's not, I mean, I'm pretty sure if I pack it on with a, um, maybe a NYX Cosmetics um, milk stick, it'll look a lot better if I pack it on slowly. But that's the swatch. Not bad for 99 cents. I mean, come on, 99 cents. Then I got a, this is um, $2.99 at Target and this is the Dramatic Volume Mascara Instantly Volumizes lash defining brush so that's it i bought it for the dang color because it's like a neon orange i had to have it i had to have it it was only 2.99 i'm like oh well, this would be good as a backup in case i run low on mascara and i'm too lazy to go get some i can always have this as a backup so this is 2.99 at target i also got and i know i had it here i got a lip gloss this is a high shine formula from LA Colors Slant Tip Application. So here it is. I opened it. It's a clear red, which I love. And it's got, that's the applicator. So this would be nice to just throw in my bag. I like the applicator. So it's like a rosy tinge. Not bad. Kind of smells like strawberry little bit but yeah it's not bad it's actually pretty nice and I love the applicator it's pretty nice so that's the applicator right there and uh, it's only 99 cents so 99 cents I got me a this can permanently go in my makeup bag and stay there so I'll need it 
I want to add a little gloss. And then I got the LA Colors 16 color eyeshadow palette. And this is in Smokin'. So this is the eyeshadow palette. It's nice. And this was $3.99. Can you believe that? $3.99. Ugh. I'm trying to get it open without breaking a nail. There's a sticker on here. Okay. So I will swatch these. Is there another sticker? Oh my gosh, why won't it open? It's like stuck. Why won't it open? There's no more stickers on it. Oh, I didn't give it a good. That's so weird. It's like sealed shut. Oh, got it. What the hell? Okay, so that's the uh, palette. Not bad. They got a neutral palette too. Let's test out the colors. The colors do not have names. They're just, I'm going to start from um, right to left. From top to bottom. So the brown color hmm, comes on pretty smooth. There's the brown color right beneath the yellow. Um, for my other palette, here's a pink color. I mean, after you like kind of go over it a couple times, it becomes pretty smooth. I'm just gonna, yeah, just gonna swatch. Swatch away, swatch away. Here is, ooh, the beige color looks kind of like a frosty white. It's very, very light. So there's the other colors. And then there's a green color, which I'm loving. Ooh, it's nice. I like it. You have to give it a couple strokes when you swatch it. I'm not sure how it's going to apply, but um, it takes a couple strokes to get that. Oh, wow, I love this color. It's this green color right here. It's like a olive color. Look at that. That's so cool. It's right beneath it. It's got a metallic sheen. They all have kind of like a metallic sheen to it. And then there's a green that's similar to the other green. Oh, it's just it's just more blue tone, but it's lighter. Let's see as you can see it below right there. And then um, another brown color. Mm, that one's okay. It's like a light brown. you can barely see it. but they have a metallic sheen to them. And then here's a charcoal color. Just go swatch that on my wrist there. That one came out pretty opaque. A lot of pigmentation on it. I'm making a mess here. I'm gonna start with the inner part of my arm because I'm gonna I'm gonna get the swatch. Well, no, I'm gonna start at the last part of my hand right there with the bottom row. That's the charcoal silver color. It's pretty good. That metallic sheen to it's just awesome. LA colors is pretty impressive since it's dollar days. <laughs> And I mean, uh, we just go to the dollar store and just get those all the time. Oh my goodness. They're, they're a little chalky, but I mean, for $3.99 for this entire palette, it's not bad. So there's a darker charcoal color. And then here's a black. It's pretty pigmented. Not too pigmented, but it's like a soft black. And then white. They are very powdery, let me tell you. There's the white. It's got a metallic sheen. The black is more matte and the white is metallic. I'm trying to clean up my arm here. Okay, there's purples. I'm excited about these. I'm gonna swatch. Where can I swatch this? I'm gonna swatch it up here on my knuckle. That's a very light metallic. It's right above the gloss. It's a really, really light metallic. It doesn't have a whole lot of pigmentation. Here's a darker purple. I'm gonna swatch that in the middle there. It actually is a very pretty purple. Can you see that? It's right there. It's really nice. I like that one. And then here's a bolder purple, which I'll swatch on my farthest knuckle part right here. That one's pretty nice. I like that one. And then here's a blue. And I'm running out of room on my so I'm going to swatch it on my wrist on the inner part here. Not as pigmented as it's supposed to. It's right here. It's not as pigmented, but it's pretty nice. I mean, these are going to be chalky, 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 chalky. I mean, chalky. There's going to be fallout. You might want to boost them with a 
uh, a base that's very, that's white. So, not bad. $3.99. LA Colors. I'm impressed with the price. So that's my Target one. Let's get on to my Ulta. So I had to clean off my hands, got my arm all nice and clean, um, just in case I want to swatch anything else. Ulta's next. I went to Ulta because I knew they had this. And I'm a little scared, but I mean, I've never been scared of hair color. Last time I've had my hair cherry red was back when I used to work at Sally Beauty Supply. And it was like up to my butt, that's how long my hair was. And it was layered real pretty and I used to curl the ends. And you know, I, was, I was like a stick thin back then. But it looked good on me. And I was like, well, I never go wrong with red. I mean, I have a little bit of red in my hair right now, but the roots are growing out since I didn't color my hair, didn't buy any hair color, nothing like that. Um, I wanted to try something different. I've tried black hair with ombre blue. And um, I tried to do a purple cast on the black. Well, not the black, but it was it faded to a dark brown. And then this faded to like seafoam green. So when I went over the colors again, I used the Manic Panic colors. And I went over it with purple, and then I did the the ends bright blue. And the bright blue came out, but the purple didn't stay. So I was like, I had a choice between blue, purple, and red. I went with the red. For those friends of mine on Instagram, I went with the red. This is the Splat Fire Ombre. I'm a little scared because I don't want it to come out that bright. And I know it won't come out that bright. But I wanted to try some. I wanted my hair red again. But the cast of orange is just so subtle like it blends well so I figured well nobody's gonna really it's not gonna be like electric red and electric orange on my hair since it's colored so much it will not be this bright probably I'm hoping so but we'll see how that goes what it is is uh I think it's got the bleach of course and then the colors I'm not going to leave the bleach in that long. I'm going to leave it to a point where I'm, you know, I'm satisfied with how I just, and when I did the blue, the blue actually, the when I did, because I, I used the splat color, I used Blue Envy was the color I used. Um, the bleach only bleached it, and it was already like ombre to like a coppery uh, reddish color, I guess you can say. And then when I bleached it over, it didn't go much brighter. Maybe it went to like a medium brown, uh, not medium brown, medium blonde. So when I put the color over, it went to an extremely dark blue where you can barely see it. So I'm hoping this doesn't go as bright, just subtle maybe, but I'm afraid to bleach my whole hair. So we'll see. I'm thinking on this one because I don't want to damage my hair. Uh, another thing I went in there for was the Smashbox Primer Water, which I sprayed it in the store, and oh, it felt so good on my face. It's got electrolytes. Um, it's this water is infused with electrolytes to prime by misting and create a sheer canvas for makeup, which is good. Um, hydrates skin for hours, which is nice because I get a lot of dry patches. Uh, Revitalize complexion and boosts radiance. So we'll see how this goes. Um, I'm very excited to use it. I've never used Smashbox at all. I'm new to the whole high-end stuff. So we'll see how that goes. And then, of course, I went and got some NYX Cosmetics because I live for NYX. And I got more of their HD, um, the NYX HD concealers because I love these concealers in combination with my L'Oreal Infallible. Um, it's perfect, and I got the beige color, which matches extremely perfect to that caramel beige. And I got a light for my under eyes to brighten them up, and I got four of them. And then, I bought the Prismatic Shadows because I've been wanting to try it, and I bought three colors. Okay, I got the Blue Jeans, which is a met metallic medium blue. I swatched it, and I liked it. I'm still a little iffy about it because blues, I normally go for blues, but they have to be really bold. This is more metallic light to medium blue, so I'm not sure how I'm going to wear this or how it's going to look on my skin tone. Um, I wanted to get the mermaid one. This is the one I was really wanting and they were always sold out. Um, 
this is a gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people have swatched these for you, but I'm gonna go ahead and swatch them. So let's start with the blue jeans. And this is the blue jeans. And they're pretty creamy. So there's blue jeans. It's very light blue, metallic, has pretty sheen to it. Nice metallic shimmer. Next is, then I got Frostbite, which is an opal-y color, and I love anything that's got opal effect to it, or a duochrome effect. I'm addicted to duochrome, so there it is. Right there, if you can see it. And then, this one looks a little more chalky than the other ones, but I did like the effect. It's got this bluish, pinkish tone to it, so I like it, and I, I figured I figured a look out for this, so I wanted to try it out. And then here's Mermaid, which is the one I was dying to have. There is Mermaid right there, so beautiful. Oh, I love it. It's, it's a, a shimmery mint color with a little bit of gold in it. And to me it looks, no, I don't know, it's weird, I can't describe it, it's just ethereal looking. So yeah, that is my um, Ulta haul. Oh, stuff I needed and stuff I wanted. So that's it. So let's move on to the Sephora one. Okay. Now it's time for my Sephora haul. Yes. I'm so happy there's a Sephora here. I love Sephora. Anyways, um, I went in to Sephora for the Sugar Pop palette from Too Faced. And I never, you know, I didn't think when it was going to come out. Because I wanted to buy it from Too Faced.com, but I wanted to have it in my hands. I wanted to get it from the store and take it home. I didn't want to wait in the mail. I, I am impatient. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to get it. And I go to the display. There was nothing there, not even the melted metals. And I asked the girl about it. She's like, well, I've been off a week, so I'm not sure what's new. She opened the drawer, and lo and behold, there they were. So I told her, can I have one of those? And she goes, let's swatch it. So she opened one to swatch. She let me swatch all the colors, and I fell even more in love with it. And she even let me swatch all the melted metals, so I was first to swatch those. So, da -da -da, my sugar pop. It's so adorable. I bake macaroons. I love baking macaroons. It takes, it takes some patience and time to get the perfected dome and for it to be light and not dense. I've had to scale back my recipe a little bit because I had done a recipe where it was so sweet I mean I thought I, I couldn't eat it and I was like you know what it's too sweet and the recipe called for exactly what I put in there and it was way too sweet so I was like okay let's scale it back I added cream of tartare in there and I added a pinch of salt that scaled back the sweetness on the macaroon and then I always put a vanilla buttercream that I had I make that a vanilla buttercream or chocolate ganache inside my daughter likes the, uh, the buttercream so I'm gonna play with more flavors. That's all I am doing right now. It's just buttercream and ganache. And sometimes I did a hazelnut one that came out really good with chocolate ganache, hazelnut flavored cookie. Um, I put a little bit of food coloring in it, but I have to be very mindful of that because if you put water, too much water in it, too much moisture in it, it could fall flat. So you have to be very careful about adding food coloring and stuff like that. So I think I'm gonna buy some powdered food coloring if they have anything like that. I'm gonna look around. And see if I got anyways enough about me baking macaroons I bought this for the macaroons because I absolutely love macaroons and I was like oh the box is so cute so is the packaging absolutely adorable I love it it's like a little tin and it's got macaroons on it and here's the palette absolutely gorgeous I want to stick my finger in there but I'm like no I don't want to dirty it do it. I'm gonna do it for you guys. So we'll start with the top colors and work from right to left. So my right. Okay. So um, let's start with rock candy. Oh, that's gonna be a beautiful highlight. You can barely see it, but it's a matte um, brow bone color. Oh, it's just gorgeous. It's so creamy. And then I'm gonna try macaron. Which is this beautiful peach color with a little bit of sparkle. You can barely see it on my skin. 
can't see it on my finger. I don't think you can. Okay, added another layer and you can see a little better, maybe not. I don't know, the camera's not picking it up, there you go. Can you see that? It's beautiful orangey peach color. I absolutely love it. And then Malted Milk Ball is another color and it's a metallic medium brown. Absolutely gorgeous. Can you see that? I'm sorry, my swatches are terrible. I'm terrible at swatching. All right, so now let's go into Strawberry Ice, which is this lilac color there. And then I'm gonna swatch it over here. Oh, that's gorgeous. It is sort of matte, but with a small smidgen of shimmer in there. There it is right there in the middle of my hand. Sugared Violet, that's really why I wanted this palette with Sugared Violet. It's beautiful metallic purple with pink flecks in it, and it's just more blue tone purple. I love it. Okay, Blackberry is a matte color, and I can seriously see this using my crease. It's just gorgeous, and it's more warm tone purple. Yeah, that's uh, Blackberry. And now, I'm just cleaning off my fingers. Mm, I like to be sanitary. Next is Peach Fuzz. They're very smooth. I mean, Too Faced has amazingly, I love my chocolate bar palette. Um, so there is Peach Fuzz, and you can barely see it, but it would also be a good highlighting color or even a base color for building shadows on the eye. Next is Bubblegum, which is a beautiful pink. I'm guessing it's a little bit of metallic in there. Not too much, it's more matte, but it's pretty. And then last but not least, another color I bought this palette for is a matte teal, and it's blue raspberry, and that is a gorgeous color. So yes, this is all the colors. It's $36, and it is absolutely worth it if you love macaroons, which I do. And the colors are amazing, and they're pretty pigmented, and they're soft and super blendable. Let me show you on, um, yeah, it blends out. See, I kind of blended it. They blend out really good to like nice soft color. So yeah, my Sugar Pop palette, absolutely love. I was so excited to be the first one to swatch it. Next, Melted Metals. I'm cleaning off my hand. So I went in wanting the Melted Macaron. Am I saying it right? Macaroon, macaron, I don't know. Melted macaron is what I heard it's pronounced. And I was not impressed. It did not have the metallic look like most of the other ones did. And I noticed there's a lot of peaches and pinks in the collection, no reds. So um, I liked melted, um, melted macaron, but it wasn't what I wanted. Surprisingly, the color that I was not looking at at all was Melted Peony. Melted Peony, I love the box, it's really shiny. Um, Melted Peony was not what I was expecting. So, let me show you. Oh, I hate busting it out. I really do. Melted Peony is this absolutely gorgeous metallic peachy pink. It's just, I mean, can you see this? It has beautiful gold flecks. You can see that. It's got beautiful gold flecks in it. And I just applied a little bit, but it's pretty pigmented. I love the way these smell. But I didn't think I would like Melted Peony, and I actually do. I really love Melted Peony. So if you don't underestimate Melted Peony if you don't like that kind of shade, because I do not, I like bold shades, and this is just so beautiful. So anyways, I have more. Let's get two of that. Okay, sorry, I'm making sure my camera's working. I had to go stop because my kids needed something. Um, anyways, I have another lip color for you. That I got. I originally got an OCC um, lip tart to mimic because I'm doing a series for my um, 
Trending Wednesdays looks, and it's from a magazine from the Glamour Magazine April issue, and it had the OCC harlot on one of the girls, and it was like a neon red, and I've been dying to have a neon red. Lo and behold, I didn't know I had already a neon red. It looked similar, if not maybe a little bit more red toned, tiny bit, to my J Cat color, which is what I forget what that color is called, but I've had it for a long time. And I bought J Cat back when a new Ulta opened up in Las Cruces. And yeah, I was like, you know what? If I'm going to have the same exact color, and then I ordered ColourPop, which will be another video, another haul. I know, I know, I know. I went a little overboard. Not too bad. I had coupons, I had tons of points. So yeah, I saved it for a good time. Anyways, I wanted to, but I didn't like it. I did not like OCC. I like the metal ones. The consistency is much better for me than the matte. And I almost got matte Lydia because of course it's my name. <laughs> I was like, oh, I want that. And it looks so pretty, but I was like, the matte formula doesn't work for me. So I opted to take it back and exchange it for a different one. So I exchanged it for the Kat Von D liquid it's the everlasting color for everlasting kisses uh no that's not what it's called everlasting liquid lipstick i swatched it and i got bachelorette i swatched this and it's just absolutely gorgeous it's to die for and they really do dry matte oh once just one touch that's all it takes it's just a beautiful like warm pink I cannot describe that color. It's just a bright, bold pink with a little bit of orange in it. Oh, I love it. It doesn't smell bad, so I don't think it smells like anything. No, it doesn't always smell like anything, but it is a beautiful. If you have not tried these Kat Von D um, liquid lipsticks, you gotta try it. This is a good option. That was my phone beeping. Batteries low. Um, this is a good option for if you can't get your hands on the Anastasia Beverly Hills because I've been dying for those, but I can't get my hands on it. I have to order it online, which I'm kind of always like, I'm impatient. I'm impatient. And we don't have any Macy's stores that actually carry those, so disappointment. But this will actually get me through because it does dry pretty matte. So excited. I love this color. Absolutely love it. It'd be $2 more when I exchanged it, but I don't care. And then these were on clearance at the JCPenney one. The Sephora JCPenney for $3.99. I know. These are the Acne Fighting Mattifying Moisturizers. It clears blemishes, not moisture. So this is meant to, it contains silic acid to reduce the number of acne breakouts, which I have a lot of breakouts, like here in the corner, and sometimes up here, and then of course up here. Um, and sometimes my forehead. Um, but it, uh, and help clearance from skin, lightweight texture, penetrates immediately to reduce excess oil, so it gets rid of the oil as well as the acne, which I have both. I have a lot of oil, so I don't want to get rid of my oil, but I want to control the oil, because if I get rid of my oil, I'm going to age, because <laughs> oily people do not really age that much, because there's lots of moisture in the skin. Um, and a lot of people, I've had one person tell me, I envy you for your skin. You don't age. You won't get wrinkles like me. And I'm like, dude, but you'll get acne and you cannot wear makeup. Sometimes you have to get good makeup to stay on your face. And then your eyes get oily. You have to have a good base. It's not fun. To, uh, let me tell you, it's not fun having to pat and look like an oil slick every day. And I am extremely oily. My mom is, and she's, I'm not going to say her age, just so she doesn't get mad at me, but she's old enough to have some wrinkles, and she doesn't have a whole lot of wrinkles. She looks good for her age. Um, but yeah, this is going to work for me, I hope. I hope. And they were $3.99, so I got two of them, because that's all it was. So two of these. And that's all I purchased from Sephora, and I'm trying to separate these out because I have something else in here which is pretty cool um oh and in case you're wondering about my look it's a little shiny but it's drying matte like you can see that end part drying matte 
it's very matte. And then as you can see, they're very hard to take off. They stay. So I'm cleaning off my hand. Done with swatching. So now, okay. So I I don't normally apply for credit cards, but I do shop at JCPenney well enough for my kids. Shoes, a lot of shoes. You know, I love their shoe choices for my daughter. I love their clothes choices for my son and my daughter. So I figured, and sometimes when they clear and stuff, like when new seasons come in, they clear in some good stuff. And we've gotten a couple jackets for them there. We've gotten them clothes. We've gotten them, you know, shoes that were good price. So I'm like, you know, now that we're shopping at JCPenney a lot more because there's a lot more selection at this JCPenney in the Park Meadows Mall in Lone Tree, Colorado, uh, then in Las Cruces, there was not much for the kids. There really was not much. Um, that location just didn't have much, so we never shopped at JCPenney. But we do get my mother-in-law's gifts there because she loves JCPenney. And if I want to find a little trinket for like my sisters or my mom or my mother-in-law or my sister-in-law, I go and get stuff at JCPenney. So now I figure I have a reason to go and I applied for the JCPenney card. At the Sephora, when you try that when you apply for it, you get... I don't know if it's every location, but she offered me deluxe size samples. So I'm going to show you all my samples. First off, let's show you the, the stuff I got with my points that I finally got to use. I had 250 points, so I got two 100 point things. That's what she told me I can get. So I tried, I want to try out the um, Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer, which is the new primers that came out. I want to try that. I hear they're really, really good. So, sorry if I keep ducking down. I'm trying to see if my camera's still on. Um, but yeah, I want to try that. I don't know why. This is a Space Hydrant, Hydrating Primer. I don't know. Anyways, this is a small size, so I'm going to try it. It looks pretty cool. And then I got the... Olay and Henriksen Truth Serum Collagen Booster. It's got vitamin C in it. Lord knows I need some vitamin C to even out my skin. So I'm going to try this out. Every, she says it's really good. So those are what I bought with my, got with my points. Then she gave me my deluxe sample pack, which is what you get for applying for the card at the JCPenney Sephora. And I got a deluxe size of the Ultra Repair Hand Cream from First Aid Beauty. So I got that. I'm going to put that in my purse. These are good because I'm going to take them traveling with me when I go visit my family in New Mexico. The Vita Libert Liberata, I cannot talk, luxury tan. I don't self tan, so I'm not sure if I'm going to be even using this. Um, I'm Hispanic. I mean, I know a lot of Hispanics tan. Being Mexican-American, I brown easy. I don't get red. I brown. I brown really easy. So I don't really need to use self tanners because I'm like, I brown. And I've gotten a lot lighter since my brown days back in high school and college, but, um, cause I'm not out in the sun too much. So, I mean, I am with my kids now, so I'm probably going to get brown more. But yeah, anyways, I'm not sure if I'm going to use this, but we'll see. Then she gave me uh, little samples of the Truth Serum, again, from Ole Henriksen. Sheer Transformation Oil-Free Perfecting Cream Repair and Invigorating Night Treatment. So I got that, too. Along with, okay, so we got Pink Sugar Air de Toilet. And this is a perfume. have not smelled it. Hopefully it smells good because I'm highly allergic to perfume. Then I got the Derma Clear Micro Water, which is a makeup remover. This is so adorable. I'm definitely going to take this for traveling. It's so cute. So I'm going to try that. And then the Purity uh, Natural Cleanser. It's a three-in-one cleanser for face and eyes. So this would be nice to take off my makeup because I find that my, my um, facial cleansers don't take off my makeup. And I usually use my Avon makeup remover. But... And it does remove really well, and those can go for like 99 cents when they're on sale. So I always get a bunch of those, and then I get customers that just boom, 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 buy like a bunch. But um, yeah, so I'm going to try this to take off my makeup in one step. So three in one. 
And then I got the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. I was looking at the brow gel and I seriously need brow gel and this is something good to try. Also got the Sephora Waterproof Eyeliner and this is in a blue color. So I'm holding two eyeliners at once. But it's in a blue color, real pretty blue color and I'm excited to use that. Nice travel size. I was so happy because I love Kat Von D. I honestly love her line. Um, Kat Von D, you are a true artist, honestly. As an artist myself, to appreciate, I appreciate how she sees art and makeup in one. She is a beautiful tattoo artist. She's a beautiful um, artist herself, like painter and drawing and everything all mediums um she's just absolutely awesome and then the fact that she understands makeup like tattooing and art awesome awesome i appreciate that so i appreciate you kat von d i really do so i got the kat von d tattoo liner which is in trooper i think it's a black i'm not sure i probably should have swatched this <laughs> but i don't want to use it yet because i'm like hmm I want to save this for traveling, so I don't want to contaminate it yet because I don't travel for a while, but yeah, it's a tattoo liner. If you guys haven't tried her tattoo liners, I did swatch them in the stores and the precise, nice felt tip. Love it. Okay, final one. The Renewed Hope in a Jar Eye Refining Cream. Need some more eye products. This is going to be cool for me to start researching on eye products for my puffiness on my eyes so it's a lightweight refreshing eye cream with clinically proven clinically proven non-stop skin renewal technology it works to continuously continuously hydrate skin gently energize tired looking eyes brightens dark circles reduces puffiness so it does that retexturizes skin for a smooth look so something i'm going to try out to see if it works so those are all my samples when you apply for the jc penny card at that sephora pretty good plus my point little sample so I got samples for days so that's it that's my haul I was gonna get some new clothes but I'm at kind of in a style rut right now and I don't really need any clothes so I just don't really care for any now I don't buy new shoes anymore I like I used to because my blog if you've seen it before I used to call the be called the imperfect woman on imperfectwoman.tumblr.com that's my old blog I renamed it to fairyvibrantmakeup.tumblr.com and you'll see it always on my credits but I was a style blogger so I would always do pictures my husband would actually do pictures of me in my clothes because I worked in an office so I always dress up now that I don't dress up anymore I don't find the need for a whole lot of clothes I do need casual clothes but I haven't quite found the style that I like I like bohemian I like edgy. I need to find a. If you have any style suggestions for me, I like dark colors, edgy looks, but I also like Bohemian. If that can all mesh together in comfort, that would be perfect. So I'm trying to find my own, get into my own as a stay at home mom. I don't want to dress in sweats all day, of course. I do dress in sweats when I'm cleaning the house and stuff like that. I have my days off. I have a right. Um, but when I dress up, when I put clothes on, all I have is work clothes, which is dresses and blazers and dress pants and skirts. And chasing a three-year-old in a dress is not good for me. Um, I'm looking at my clothes right now. Uh, I have sparkly clothes. I have dressy blouses which isn't bad. I need tips and I wish I could meet Stacy London. I've been a fan of her since what not to wear began. I wish I could meet her and ask her, what do I do? I'm in a style rut. I have style, but I, it's just not what I want right now. It's not working for me right now. As a stay at home mom, I don't want to dress slumpy. I just don't because I work really hard because I used to have uh, when I stayed at home with my daughter for 10 months when I just had her, I had style rut. I didn't wear makeup then. I just wore baggy clothes to conceal my new fat that I got from her. Um, and I had postpartum. 
and I was in a rut because I didn't have a job to go back to, so I was just in a style rut. And then when I got my got a part time job, I um, just kind of eased me into working again. Um, I actually um, my style started getting into its own. It was more professional. I didn't have any new clothes, so I just tried what I could and I was trying to fit my body. But then a year before I had my son, my style was on point. I fit and got stuff really nice. And my style just started evolving. I have collected the Target launches since Richard Chai. If you all don't know what I'm talking about, you need to research that. Richard Chai, I mean, I know there was some way before him, but Richard Chai is my starting launch thing. And then every single Target designer launch I got until it started becoming more and more popular. It was impossible to get. I couldn't walk in the store and get what I wanted, especially in the Masoni one. I can do a whole video on these Target launches. I have never missed one. Never. No, nope, never. But I used to get my daughter when I when she was getting old enough. I used to get the Liberty for uh, Liberty of for Liberty Liberty of London. Is that right? I hope it's right. Liberty of London, they had a dress for my my size and a dress for her size, just to them. So we, it's a tradition of ours to match every year for Mother's Day. Since she came out of me a week before Mother's Day, we matched every single Mother's Day. And we are still going to do it. And the new launch is the Lily Pult, Pult oh, I can't say your last name. I'm very bad at names. But that launch... They have a jumper, um, a jumpsuit for the ladies and one exactly for my daughter's age. So we're going to match. We're, I'm going to attempt to get it. I said, no, nope, I'm done with Target launches. I hate the hassle. I hate staying up till like 1 in the morning, 2 in the morning to order online. And I hate going at 8 in the morning on a Sunday to go get what I want. I'm not doing that anymore. But they had a lot of cute stuff. So I'm like... I'm only gonna get the jumper, the jumpsuits for me and her so that we can match for Mother's Day. And um, yeah, but the last one I did was all Tazura and I was impressed, but those are workwear. So yeah, I don't wear those anymore. I haven't worn my snakeskin dress since Thanksgiving. And my maxi Swiss dot dress with the sequins on the side, that's a gorgeous dress. I haven't worn that since October. Yeah, since October. So I'm trying to find reasons to wear dress clothes, not dress clothes, but like casual dressy, not too slumpy, but comfortable so I can run around with my three-year-old and pick up my daughter from school and run errands, get groceries. I don't want to be in heels. I actually used to buy Shoe Dazzle all the time. I don't buy Shoe Dazzle anymore because I used to love their heels. I don't buy them anymore because I used to have all the Gwen Stefani ones and I don't wear them anymore. I mean, I'm going to save them for when I go back to work. But I don't wear them anymore. I'm just going to box them up, put them in the nice little box and store them until I go back to work. But I've been rambling a lot and I know I'm going off subject from the haul. But I wanted to let you know that I really do need some help on style. So if you have any tips on how to style an at-home mom, I would love it. Even if you are an at-home mom, seriously, I would love your support. And I would love to hear from you because I honestly, I could i can't see how women do i mean i i see how women can do this because you get to be with your child every day and i excuse me i'm trying not to get emotional but i i treasure my children i treasure my children and i didn't get to see their milestones when i was working and i miss that but now that we're in a new city new state i can focus on my children and of course, I'm going to do my makeup because that's just my me time, but my kids are everything to me. So I wanted to be able to do this for my children, be there for them in this new change, and just help them be more independent, you know, have play dates and stuff like that. So I'm so excited to actually do this again because um, I did it when I, my daughter was... I, I didn't miss any of her milestones until she was 10 months. But my son, I missed a lot. I did. 
I missed when you crawl. My mother-in-law, my mom would call me, hey, he's crawling. And I'm like, oh, I missed it. It's stuff like that. And I honor at-home moms. I don't know how you get through the day without pulling your hair out. Because my three-year-old is a handful. He is so crazy. But I honor them, those moms because they we sacrifice everything for our kids. And I, as a working mom, I did too. And not saying working moms are... But we, yeah, we miss out on stuff. But we're working for our kids. I mean, I worked hard for my child and my, chi my children. I work hard for them. And I wanted them to have a good life. That's why I worked and I'm used to working. I've been working since I got out of high school all the time. I love working. It's just my thing. I'm a very, very, very hard worker. And it was an adjustment to go from full-time mom, uh, full working mom to an at-home mom. It was an adjustment. So I'm like, I had to totally dial back everything. Just dial back on my clothes, wear flats all the time, not worry about my hair anymore, not worry about my makeup. But now I'm kind of like, okay, I need my hair done. Not done by, like, like just up where I can go. My hair's a mess right now. But just an easy hairdo freak. and I have to have my personality the hair the nails the makeup and my edgy clothes but right now my clothes are kind of in limbo so anyways enough talking that's my haul went to three places Target Ulta Sephora and I got things that I seriously wanted only thing that I really want out of stock everywhere I go is the Tartlet palette I've been needing a neutral palette besides my chocolate bar and my Urban Decay Naked 3 palette, I need something just matte and neutral because I didn't think I'd like matte and neutrals, but I seriously like the Tartlet palette. But they're out of stock everywhere, so when it comes back in stock, I hope I can get that. And I will see what I do with my style and stuff. So thank you for watching, and I know it's a long video, it's probably going to be a very long video, but um, I appreciate you guys listening to me. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and stay vibrant. Uh -huh,